this looks like a great spot. All right, g'day there. Now today, I'm gonna to be painting a seascape. Beautiful sunny day, and I'm gonna be painting it live in real time. So there's no edits. You're gonna see the whole thing, warts and all. Should be a bit of fun. She's a fairly big painting, and uh, there'll be plenty of work to do. So let's get started. G'day there, Richard Musgrave Evans here again, and welcome back. Now today, we're still down the coast, we've got a beautiful day, like hardly any wind. Fantastic, a nice headland, some great green, shallow, tranquil waters. Everything you could ever want. And also, it's early summer, so now we have the golden paddocks and the blue sky. Back in the land of blue and gold. <laughs> Alright, All right, now today, Back on the clear primed Belgian linen. So it looks like it's raw, but it's got a primer on it. Just blocked in a few things to get me started. Now I'll get going. As usual, I'm working with oil paint, flies, and palette knives. Okay, let's knock in a bit of sky. Go for the bigger knife for starters. Start down low, so I'll go for a bit of burnt sienna and white. Lighten her off. light tone, a little bit of yellow ochre with it, Just drop a little bit of blue in there to knock it back, more yellow ochre, Strange colour down at the horizon, you never quite know what's there, it's just a general keyed down version. A bit of twang of magenta and a little bit more of that sky blue. Just to give a real neutral sort of distant tone. Let's have a look what I've got there. Not quite blue enough. That's probably about it now, let's have a look. yellow grey. It's got a little bit of blue about it. Not quite touching the horizon yet. I've already put that horizon in quite level so the picture is not all willy wonka later on. A bit more yellow over with that. White. Spot here. I need to raise this. I need to raise this a little bit. I reckon the old uh, palette. Got to bend down a little bit too much. There we go. Get that on. All right. Now uh, cobalt blue, white. I have to get some more white out, I can see that. Been a bit stingy there with the white. A little light tone, let's have a look. I'll stick that in. I won't make a roundabout it either, I'll get it in a little bit quicker. It's the beauty of the palette knife. that in. Get that 
glue down there a bit further into it. Pulling all those toes together, and that's giving me a beautiful kind of hazy, sunny horizon. Pulling it through, so I'm getting those blues coming through with those warm kind of browns and ochres. It's a feeling of light. You can kind of see it's like a light atmospheric colour. It's almost blue, but at the same time there's an atmosphere about it. A much warmer tone. All right. Cobalt blue, white, a bit less white than before. Blending them a little. Darker, more cobalt blue, less white, maybe a tiny bit more white. A bit darker, a little bit of magenta as well, so that'll put a slight red blue. If it goes up, you can get skinny bit more red, so that yeah. Uh, I'm kind of hitting the timber below it. Just going to swap hands for a minute. Just swapping hands so I'm not blocking the view, I'm only blocking in so I don't need to be too precise here. blue, white, There's a nice weed bank running through here, which is kind of a purple colour. Compared to the uh, colour of the sand on the bottom. A bit more of that colour jutting around in here. It's even got a bit of brown in it. Patches. general feeling of that
They're going to go for a much lighter hiking turquoise type of colour. So, white, viridian green, make a really high key green with a bit of cobalt blue. that in well that's bright hang on just mix up a light sky blue again over here and I can rub into that there's a fair bit of reflection of the sky with it so it's a beautiful colour so I'm gonna pump it in there a little bit more yellow ochre as it drifts off this side Yellow there. More yellow over with the mix in the shallows. Sky tones there because of the reflections of the sky. All right, now drop that in the bin. Just grab a brush. I'm just going to soften all that stuff with the brush. I've got a bit of paint on this brush, but it's pretty much those colours, so hopefully it's all right. gonna pull all those blues and browns together a bit more which will make more sense bringing the blue down into the atmospheric color looking better now blend them a bit radical radical those colours nicely, nicely blended in. Look at that. What a beautiful sky that's starting to develop now. All the way up to the heavens. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Stand back and have a look at that bling. Alright. Now pull through with confidence. Pulling all those lovely shallows of weed and whatever else all together. Start getting some headlands going. Beautiful bright orange one right on the end here, obviously. That's going to be a key note of the painting. Here's a classic. So, a bit of cad, the yellow ochre. Let's see what we've got. Where am I going to place that in the picture? down this corner here it comes around here with Jenka here there's a second headland let's have a look at that that's that flies
Change for burnt sienna from an earlier mix. some of those rocks in here that are on the beach. some of this stuff, throw a bit of yellow echo into some of that earlier mix. and white, picked up some of these four gram paddocks. Bit of this and a bit of that, whatever goes. A few upward marks to give the illusion of grass. brush from a for a minute, got it in my hand. Where are we up to? Right. Need to put a bit of beach in. I'm gonna take a little bit of paint off through there so I can fit the beach in. Make it thinner. Beach sand actually comes right out to here. A bit of brown weed in the works. Come on, hang on. Let's 
like that off. that on all of them. I'll put a bit of orange are already, there's some reflections out there of that cliff. To start, I'll just like a little bit of the orange already there. Just put some downward marks now. It gives a feeling of those reflections. turquoise colour there, it says I'll mix up some more high key turquoise and mix it with that sky blue. Just drag it across into the works. off here like that, that can be the roof of a shack, just by going back to the negative colour underneath, scraping paint off, making the shape of a roof. salt bushy colour. Some beautiful salt bushes out there. It's a bit more yellow ochre than that. They look really bluey colour but they've actually got a lot more of the foliage colour in than you imagine.
just uh, doing some blending of these beautiful subtle tones here. starting to kick on the water. It was supposed to be a lot of breeze but the breeze hasn't really come just yet. Good. It's too breezy we have all sorts of strides trying to get the pony done. Well you won't hear me for a starter if it's too breezy. Spectrum blue and a bit of magenta. Lightly putting some of those weedy bits in. I blinded a little bit here. Just softening the top of that horizon. Now I've got a little brush, I might just grab that. Turquoise, that real light blue turquoise. He's putting a lot of subtle bits in the sky. Oh, sorry, in the water. Such subtle tones out there. That's the beauty of the day. Beautiful turquoise bits just jutting around this headland here, jutting. Slide that turquoise out. sun's getting higher. Oh, actually, as the breeze is picking up a bit too, I'm seeing a little bit more of that turquoise, which is a beautiful colour. I've been waiting for it to come out. I'm just deepening it a bit here and there. Do a bit more work on those buildings. Let's just get a uh, smaller knife. Okay, what do we got here? Right. Slightly 
clean this area so I've got a better space to work. Clean that knife. Now get some pure, pure white. Only the tiniest, tiniest bit of shade yellow in it. That's the thing, you get the shape right with things like roofs and all of a sudden it gives you illusion of building very easily. to building somewhere and then your mind will see it so find an easily read part of the composition you go right I'll stick a building here that's very obvious and then what your mind does it goes oh that's a building those other marks must also be buildings trick of the mind scrape some paint off for some doors and windows little sheds and water tanks and whatever else so if you put some blobs your eyes will start to see everything like I said as soon as you get the major things looking correct your brain will work it out and the rest will look great Abstracting, breaking up lines and whatever. The tide's going out a little there, so I'm just throwing a bit more beach sand in. That's a beautiful colour to contrast all that turquoise. That. that's about it it's pretty uh, close to what I was after plenty of action beautiful sunny day what more could you want it's a fantastic day today down the beach and uh, it's fantastic being out here and painting pictures like this what I'll do now is I'll get the camera off we'll have a look at it. No worries, thank you. okay let's come in and have a look at what we've got 
All right, now the concept of this painting was that beautiful turquoise shallow water. I really wanted to bring that up. And also I love the shacks, the little shacks and everything else. And one particular piece of interest is the color of the rocks on the beach, a real kind of pinky brown mauvey color, beautiful. Now you can see those buildings, just suggest them and then you'll see the detail. You've got the beautiful reflective waters and then the turquoise and the blue weed. palette fairly simple colors it's all you really need you can produce a lot of different effects with just simple colors I like to work with a fairly simple palette and that's what I've got here today all up beautiful day beautiful location down the coast summer the land of blue and gold all right no worries Okay, well there you go. That was a bit of fun. Now I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give me the thumbs up and share it with your mates, that'd be great. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and press that notification bell. Until next time, I'll see you later.